Well, that was an intro. Hello everyone, and welcome to Undertale. This is a game that I am actually a little familiar with now, because I've tried to record this three times. The first time, I had the same problem as the Tingle video. By the way, there's not going to be any more of those, because I tried to play another ep 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 I tried to play a few- another 30 minutes of it, and it's just kind of boring. So, instead, I'm going to be playing Undertale. Uh, made by Toby Fox, who is part of the What Pumpkin uh, record label, makes music for Homestuck. He also made the Halloween hack for uh, Earthbound, which is very good. Now, Undertale is his first full-length game, I believe, aside from the Halloween hack. So, I am going to be playing it. This is going to be fun. I've actually, as I've said, I've already tried to play this three times. Uh, I had to actually do a true reset, which means I erased everything that the game has. So, I am going to be playing this te technically blind up to the 30-minute mark. You'll see. Anyway, let's play. Name the fallen human. Uh, last time I named him Thule. Yeah, I'm gonna still name him Thule. I could name him Frisk. A friend of mine told me to do that, but eh. And a friend of mine told me to do a pacifist run, which is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be fun. This is me. I appear to have a severe case of jaundice, so let's get going. Oh yeah, and the second and third time, it just kind of felt weird. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. Sound like a union worker. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! Okay, I suppose. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. What's love stand for? Why love, of course! I don't trust you, flower! I actually know what happens, but you, yeah. You want some love, don't you? Who doesn't want love? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. You're making love sound like a drug. That face is adorable. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. That's a shifty look on your face, flower. Are you ready? Move around! Get as many as you can! Boom! Terrifying face! You idiots! In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? That flower is absolutely terrifying, man. First time I played this, I literally screamed with how creepy that looked. Uh Die! Ah! Okay. What? Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! Hey, it's Goat Mom. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Hi, Toriel. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, the caretaker of the ruins. You are my favorite character in this game so far. I, again, I've only played 30 minutes of it. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You were the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Alright. Wait for me! Talk to her. Talk to- okay. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Save. We're gonna make a little better time than I did last time. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Okie doke. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Thanks, Toriel! Press Z to read signs. What's funny is, you needed to press Z to read this sign. 
Uh, stay on the path. I like my character's outfit, but why am I yellow? <laughs> the first switch is over on the wall. Also, might I add, she's one of the monster things they mentioned earlier, but she doesn't look like a monster. She looks adorable. Go on, press the switch on the left. <laughs> Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. By the way, I'm going to be calling Toriel Goat Mom a couple times. Uh, this is a thing from the internet. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. With, like, a sword? However, worry not. The process is simple. That's what they said about estrogen pills. <laughs> I'm not taking them. Don't, don't. It's a joke. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Alright, I can do that. Dummy, check. Dummy, attack zero, defense zero. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Dots. <laughs> Dummy st wait, wait. Dummy stands around absent-mindedly. You talk to the dummy. Dots. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. Good. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. So, uh, you come around here often? <laughs> There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I can't get in front of you, so it doesn't matter. First random encounter, go. Frog, it attacks you. Compliment. Frog, it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> I just love that she just slides in, staring him down. <sighs> this western room is the eastern blueprint. That would be useful if I didn't have to... If I didn't... If I had to do it. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. That's adorable. I normally would complain about hand holding in video games, but this I'm okay with. <laughs> ah, great, I feel like I'm getting sick. Wonderful! Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Hang on a second. There we go. Alright. Sorry about that. back? Will she come back for me if I just... that, okay. So I can't actually get hurt by these spikes, so... I didn't know that. I haven't tried that. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Okay, I can't catch up to her. I've tried that twice now. Don't know why I keep trying. Sorry about that, that was my washing machine, or the washing machine. Not mine, but... Dots. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I do not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Fun fact, if you stay in this room, every five minutes she'll call me. Er, she'll call you. Up until the point where a dog steals her phone, but that's beside the point. Anyway, let's call her. Hello. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then. Hello. I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> hee. Click. And no, I'm not gonna flirt with her. That'd be weird. Though if you do do that, if you do that after calling her mom, you get humorous dialogue, so... This is Toriel. You wanna know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Click. You know what, I have an idea. I have an idea. There's a save point in this room. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. 
You have not left the room, have you? <laughs> there are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. I'm gonna save here. Play Kringling through the leaves. Shows you with determination. HP fully restored. Save! I was gonna... Uh, do the flirt option, quit, and then call her mom. But I'm afraid that it'll register it because last time it remembered my name and Flowey remembered that I had started the game and that he knew who I was. It was weird. Dialing. This tutorial. Huh? D did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Click. Okay, mom. Goat mom. And best mom. Best fictional mom. <laughs> Not best mom. My best mom would probably be my mom or my grandmother. Ah, this stupid window is all... all out of whack. I need to have uh, XSplit open so I can register my audio levels, which are down here, down to the bottom. But, I can't do that, so... I can't... Ah, the way I have the screen set up, I have it set to full. So, like... Whoa! Dude, what? Just... Oh. Okay. So, the window doesn't fully match the thing. Anyway, let's keep going. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If the monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Groovy. I can do that. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. Monster candy! If I remember correctly, it does not taste like licorice. Oh! Pff. Dang it. Yes. How disgusting. I'm sorry. Monster candy heals 10 HP, has a distinct non licorice flavor. I meant to read, but I didn't. Uh, I'm sorry. Hello, Froggin. Froggin didn't understand what you said, but was that flattered anyway? It says, like, if you say check, it says life is hard for this creature. Blushes deeply, Ribbit. Boing! Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. Spare. You won! You earned... <coughs> Zero XP and two gold. I just realized that this pen is slightly broken. I'll have to fix that later. I didn't know what to do in this room for the first time. I was like, I don't know what to do, I'm stuck. And now I realize, just don't step over the leaves. I thought I had to cross up here. But you don't. Hello. Whimsum approached meekly. You know what? I'm just gonna spare. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. I still earned no gold. Hmm. Ring. Hello, this is, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? I like butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. <laughs> Hello, tutorial. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? No, I love cinnamon. I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. Three out of four gray rocks. Recommend you push them. Oh. Hi, Froggit. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, Ribbit. Boing! I have a, I have a very, very high, uh... What's the word? I have a very high admiration for frogs. I like frogs, I like amphibians of all natures. I like reptiles, I like animals. That's me. Now... This is a pretty cool puzzle. Please don't step on the leaves. Haha! Hello. Mold Small, block the way. Imitate. You lie immobile with Mold Small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Horrible burb. Avoid the Mold Spurs! Spurs? Spurs! Yeah. <laughs> Flirt, you wiggle your hips. Mold Small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation! <laughs> Fun fact, me and my dad had uh, some problems with mold recently. Uh his back bedroom, the water heater started leaking, and we didn't realize it until like a couple, until a couple days ago. Did 
did you read the sign downstairs? Yes, I did. Uh, so we had to, he had to gut the wall, gut the carpet, etc. A pair of frogs hop towards you. Compliment. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. Avoid the flies. Yeah. Spare. Ribbit, ribbit. Boing! But Froggit doesn't seem to know why it's here. Interesting. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. Boing! You won! You earned zero XP and four gold! Getting a lot more random encounters than I normally do. Hello, Rock. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move. Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Rock? Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? <laughs> That's not exactly what I wanted. That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Was that helpful? Yes, it was. Thank you, Rock. <sighs> hmm? You wanted me to stay there. You're giving me a real workout. Aren't things easier when you just ask? I guess that's the fourth rock that recommends you push it. That doesn't recommend you push it, rather. Hello, Moltsmo. I, I can just spare you. I can just spare you right off the bat. I don't have to kill some, kill Mold. <laughs> okay. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination! I'm gonna be saying that a lot during this let's play. We are already 15 minutes in. Hey! It's, uh... I have forgotten his name. Aren't they gone yet? This coach keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Moving with force? Yes. New to black. Here comes Naps to Blook. I was close. Cheer. You gave Naps to Blook a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> ah, stop crying! Stop freaking crying! God. Yeah. Naps to Blook looks just a little bit better. You told Naps to Blook a little joke. Heh <laughs> Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. <laughs> Cheering seems to improve Naps to Blook's Naps to Blook's mood again. Naps to Blook wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blook. It's a hat made of tears! Do you like it? I do like it! Naps to Blook eagerly awaits your response. Cheer! Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Bye, Naps to Blook. Hopefully we meet again soon. Whoa. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Okay. Leaving the 7G in the web? Sure. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. A donut. Donut? Donut. It's technically spelled wrong, but whatever. English language. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale. Down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Spider donut heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Mm. Ribbit, ribbit. <sighs> my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. No problem, frog. Hello, ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. What does F4 stand for? For frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you were quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very, very, it's helpful, bad. Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. I just realized that it's been a while since I have cleaned up. 
I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. There is just one switch. One of these has naps to block, I believe. I think it's this one. I was right! I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Bye, naps to block. There's- OH GOD! <laughs> Accidentally fell in the right hole. Also, we're gonna meet a new enemy. A really weird one. Looks. This isn't the one I was talking about. Looks, attack six, defense six. Don't pick on him. Family name, Eyewalker. Please don't pick on me. I won't. It's a reference to Monster Hunter. Not Monster Hunter. Monster Party. Monster Hunter? Finally, someone gets it. Why would I pick on you? You look like Mike Wazowski with big teeth. Looks gnashes its teeth. You on da 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 da. Now, there's the new enemy over here, too. This is the one I was talking about. Probably the most helpful enemy in the game. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Check. Vegetoid. Attack 6, defense 6. Serving size 1 monster. Not monitored by the USDA. Part of a complete breakfast. Part of a complete divest. Vegetoid cackles softly. Oh, that's terrifying. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. I can actually just heal by doing this. Don't hit me! Okay. Vegetoid cackles softly. Let's keep doing this until we're full. Of health. Eat your greens! Yeah, I did. Vegetoid gave a mysterious smile. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens! Grab it! Ah, uh, pee. Oh well. I won zero x dabba Yes, exactly. That's English. There's also a thing down here. Ribbon! You found a faded ribbon. Uh... You equip the ribbon. Oh wait, it has a... Bandage. Heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. You reapplied the bandage. Still kind of gooey. Your HP was maxed out. Gross. The faded ribbon, if you read the info, it says, If you look cute, enemies won't hit you as hard. So, there's that. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. So, this is a pretty cool puzzle. Alright, so check this out. If you can read this, press the blue switch. But where is it? Why, it's... Hi, Luke's. Finally, someone gets it. Please don't pick on me. You guys really don't like being picked on. Oh, God! So, in other words, we just... I just realized we ripped a bandage off our face and just put it back on. Yeah, that makes sense. Yay, I got ten gold. The blue switch is behind here. This is a perspective puzzle. Okay, yes. I could go back to the spider face sale. I believe this room is the yellow switch. But I'm... Oh god! Hi, Luke's. Finally, someone gets it. I wish like doing that would make him stop attacking you. Uh. The monster designs in this room. If you can read this, press the red switch. I would have been wrong. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. And this room is the yellow switch, so this one? You're a clicking sound. I did it! Oh god. Hi, Lukes. Can you stop coming over? I don't have enough pizza rolls for everybody. Okay. That was a weird statement, Austin. I learned to spawn you. Yes, exactly. Let's call... Hello. Is this tutorial? You want to say hello again? Salutations! Is that enough? Click. <laughs> Hello, frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. You shouldn't be. She's awesome. What's this? 
You found the toy knife. You equipped toy knife. I didn't get to read the thing. You threw the stick away, then picked it back up. Stick, weapon attack zero. Its bark is worse than its bite. I didn't read the toy knife's description. I think it's like made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. I might be entirely right, but whatever. Tree. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. I'm right here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I, I will heal you. I, I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. So, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Yep, that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I certainly am. And I will see you guys in the next video. In the next episode. In the next part of Undertale. Goodbye, everyone.